Hello, my name is Ruby. Welcome to Delta Tech series of MYOB video tutorials. In this video, we will be looking at creating a new company file in MYOB. What is a company file? With MYOB, all financial information about your business is saved in a file. Each file is unique to each business. If you have more than one company, you will need an MYOB company file for each of them. The first step when you are starting to use MYOB is to create a company file for each of your businesses. The same if you are starting a new business. In this video, we will walk you through the process of creating a new company file in MYOB. Before you start, you should have the following information ready. Your MYOB serial number. This can be found on the CD sleeve. Your company's business registration number. And your company's financial year end. Now to get started, launch MYOB. You will see MYOB welcome screen. There are five options to choose from in this screen and these are Open, Create, Explore, What's New and Exit. To create a new file, click on the second option, Create. The new company file assistant guides you through setting up your company file in six steps. The first screen is an introduction to the process. Click on the next button when you are ready. In the second screen, you provide the serial number and your business details. Enter your 12-digit serial number in the first field. Enter your company name in the next field. Note that this name is used on your business documents and reports. Enter your business registration number in the third field. This number is also used on business documents. The remaining fields are optional at this point. You can either enter the required information or update it later. Click on the next button when you are ready. In the third screen, you provide the financial year and details for your business. Enter the current financial year in four digits. The current financial year is the year you will close the first set of accounts for this business that you are setting up in MYOB. Enter the last month of the current financial year. Enter the first month of the current financial year. Select the number of accounting periods, either 12 or 13. The 13th period is for entering adjustments after you close your accounts for the last month of the financial year. Click the next button when ready. Now let's talk about financial year ends. Every business or organization is required by law to close their accounts once every 12 months. For sole proprietors, partnerships, and organizations, this would generally be the same as the calendar year. In other words, this would close their accounts in December of every year. For Cinder and Burhad and Burhad companies, however, this might not be the case. While some do have financial years that coincide with the calendar, others have financial periods that start in one year and end in the next. For example, a company's financial year could commence on 1st April 2013 and ending on 31st March 2014. This step is to confirm your accounting information. Note that the information you enter here cannot be changed once your company file has been set up. When you click Next in the previous screen, MYOB asks you to confirm the information. 
Check the details to ensure that you have entered correctly. To make any changes, click the back button. If you are satisfied with the information, click Next. Your Accounts List Accounts List is your chart of accounts, a list of accounts that your business requires to keep track of assets, liabilities, income, and expenses. There are three options to choose from. A list provided by MYOB, import your own list, build your own. The list provided by MYOB, although very comprehensive, is generally not suited for Asian businesses. If you already have a list of accounts that you need, you can either create this list in a tab delimited file and import it into MYOB, or select the third option to build your own. If you wish to use a list provided by MYOB, in the next screen, select your industry classification and your type of business. The items on this list change depending on your industry selection above. Click the next button when ready. We recommend the third option as it allows you better control of the accounts. When you select Build Your Own, MYOB creates a minimum number of accounts, some of which are required and others which can be deleted. Click the next button when ready. Step 5 involves the file location and name. Where do you want to save your company file and the file name? By default, MYOB uses the full company name in Step 2 for your file. You can change this if you prefer. Also by default, MYOB will save the new file in the application directory, for example, Drive C Accounting 19 or Drive C Premier 13. Click on the Change button to specify your own file name or the location you want to save your company file to. There's an important reminder here. MYOB data file names end with .myo. This is the file extension required by MYOB. It should not be changed. When you click Next in Step 5, MYOB will create your company file with the details you provided and save it to the location you specified. This is the basic setup required and you can start using MYOB if you prefer. The next steps involves configuring MYOB to streamline your work and customizing your business documents. So there you are! Congratulations for creating a new company file in MYOB successfully!